Hey guys, I just want to show you tonight uh, how I kind of get the absolute best value I can out of your coyotes. You know, you're not going to make our coyotes here in Iowa make like a western. It's not just going to happen. But as a trapper, you need to do everything you can to make your fur presentation the best that it potentially can. Uh, here we got a coyote that I just flipped on board. It's not a great coyote, you know, it's dark, kind of ugly, uh, pretty thin through the neck region here. But what I want to show you how I do with my coyotes, it's just flipped, so it's not wet, but it's not dry by any means. There's a lot more processes I've just learned, you know, I'm going to start washing my coyotes. I, I've had a lot of guys suggest that to me, and it's something I'm really going to be getting into, I think, soon. But, you know, here we are, simple coyote. I took the brush. Uh, brushed everything down, all the fur down, you know, get cleaned up all the all the nastiness out of it, make sure there's no blood left in it. Now, what I'm going to do, flip it on its nose, and all I'm going to do is just drop it on its nose a few times, and you can actually watch that fur rise up. Okay, now look at it from the side. Now it's going to look a lot heavier, a lot thicker, a lot more dense, which isn't really an illusion. It's just, it's showing what, what it is. It's showing its full potential of what this could be. You know, this isn't a great coyote by any means, but as you can tell, he, he's not terrible. He's dark for our area, but you know, belly side, it poofed up pretty nice. Uh, you know, we got to do everything we can to get the absolute most money out of our fur especially in down markets like this as you guys that have been following along with me you know i'm selling everything i can off these animals claws skulls glands i'm going to do everything i can to get the most out of the fur as well i've had a lot of guys reach out to me and give me some good pointers like i said i'm gonna start washing my coyotes uh, i washed one the other day and actually turned out really well i like the way it looks so it's your job to make your fur look to the best presentation it can Everything we do to an animal from the moment we catch it will only downgrade it. You're not going to make that fur any more valuable. Uh, you catch a nice big prime coon, throw it in the back of the truck, it freezes to the truck, pulls out some guard hairs, downgrades. Uh, you put a big hole in it skinning, it's downgraded. You know, you wait too long to finish it, starts getting, you know, freezer burn or something, downgraded. You're not going to make that that 2x coon that's prime or blue into a, a 3x prime coon it's just not going to happen but you can turn that that 2x blue coon into a 1x no value coon pretty easy just by damaging it or or not properly handling it so i encourage you guys to get everything you can out of your fur handling but that's just one of the things i want to show you guys just a little tip that i've kind of learned you know if you look from when before I did this, it's it's a lot, it's a lot more dense now. It's got a lot more more guard hair standing up, and it'll dry this way, so so it'll show its maximum potential. But anyway, guys, I just want to show you that while I'm out here finishing some fur. So it's been a long night, and uh, we'll catch you guys later.